All right. So guys, welcome back. I have to be honest, I wasn't really planning on coming back here considering this game is an absolute torture, but I, I've got to be completely sincere by saying that uh, I'd be lying to you guys if, if I didn't want to figure out what's going on with the story of this game. If I didn't want to see if we continue on through shift number two, that there is more to the story. Do we get different cutscenes? Do we get different dialogue? I want to find out and if that's not the case then this will in fact be my last episode of this game because we've technically beat the game but there is multiple endings and it seemed like the story continues and there is multiple shifts so i'm just intrigued and let me tell you it is a phenomenal horror game so with that said ladies and gentlemen as always my name is hollow and welcome To the mortuary assistant oh we're back in the apartment i have a feeling or at least i'm hoping that this is similar to like returnal where you you keep playing and things change i mean we still have a possibility of actually going back home after we experience something in the uh, mortuary which we didn't do last time we decided to stay there so, I'm going to see if there's anything different. Death and decay. A book covering the process and science of the uh, decomposition. The composition. This is a book about death and decay. A deep look into the processes, uh, processes that happens after we die. The pages in this book are not for the faint of heart, but it is the honest and blunt... Let me tell you, when I used to work... Uh, the medical field when i was going to school for it I, I didn't go for it for too long but life is a lot more depressing when you see people always sick always dying it's depressing and honestly that's why i had to stop because it just wasn't for me but if you don't work in the medical field you you don't think about that stuff okay anyways i'm just checking my apartment all right we're off so, so far, nothing too crazy. I would like to do all the shifts if they really do provide different outlooks of the story, you know? But uh, we're about to find out here. All right. Make sure that door is not opened, just in case. Last time, we had the chance, as I mentioned earlier, we had the chance to leave after we experienced our first demonic entity. But uh, we, we didn't. We decided to stay. All right, we've got the tape recorder. Um, let's just see what happens in this shift. Let's see if anything has changed. Um, what is this? Match. A match box. One left. Well, that's quite interesting. God, I hate this place. At least I can keep track of things. So it seems, see, it seems so far, do I, now I need to code again. You see that? It's not like, let me see, do we have a different code now? 50, 966, 50, 966. So we're gonna do that, oh God. Perfect, all right, so we got everything we need there. Um, we've got the tape recordings, different tape recordings. The Night Shift database. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the... Notes. I have heard that you experience different things. That's why I'm here, you, guys, okay? Replay these tapes or look it up in the database. We will experience different cutscenes or... Not cutscenes, but like different... Interactions with the demonic entities here. So we've got is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. Alright, we've got Augustus uh Henry. Oh dear. Let's see what we got going on. I mean I'm sure you we can't go wrong with a good old horror game, right? Where I shit my pants. I guess it's always good entertainment when everyone or someone shits their pants. 
Drinking my coffee real slow. Thankfully, we at least know what to do now. So this is Augustus Henry. We're going to go ahead. We're going to start off by uh, opening up the cabinets here. We're going to take some of the essential things that we need. We're also going to need this eventually down the line. We've got the, scap the scalpel. All right. Well, may the fun begin. I think that's a big object here. So we're going to start inspecting first. We're going to start from the... On the right side. Got some bruising here. Let's see what we have in the hand. Ooh. Ooh, that's a sign of a uh, demonic entity being within this body. If you guys recall, when they have weird scratches and markings, that, that, that most likely means it could be this body. Now, again, uh, there's still two other bodies that we have to inspect. So we can't really just rule it out. As of right now, it's it's a bit too soon. I actually cannot believe this guy already looks possessed. I'm sorry. I cannot believe I'm playing this shit again. I am honestly at a loss for words. Hold on. I feel like I'm missing something within this body. Um I didn't rotate the head, did I? I did. Did I rotate it to the left? I did, okay. Did I do the the left pec area? There we go. That's what I needed. Okay. We always get away for the cue for her to say something, and then that lets us know that uh, we're good to go. So August. Okay. We got the right shoulder, the left shoulder here. We got the right arm. We've got the left arm. Contusion. On the left arm. We've got uh, left leg. And we've got the right leg. Submit it. All right. So here we go. All right. Everything seems to be going well. That's right. I can't hold anything else. I can't hold anything else. I also want you to know the reason why I'm doing th doing this is because the devs actually told me that the game was around five hours. And I, I beat it within an hour and change hour and a half hour almost close to two hours. So maybe Maybe there is something else I don't know if I should have left, left that door open there Got the embalming report. All right. I think we're a-okay now Here we go I think I just heard something All right, let's wire shut the jaw Oh, that's new. Oh, they updated that. Oh my god. Before it was just spamming it and it, it would do it. Interesting. There we go. Okay, cool. Alright, so we've got uh insert the eye caps. I completely forgot about the eye caps on the last drawer. I already have one of those. Okay, sweet. Run up the eyes, put in the eye caps, right. shut eye. Then we've got the Ah, uh, the flu. did you let me die? Holy f fuck. What? Bro, bro, bro. You see, that that already in itself is completely different than what we've gone through with, with any other entity. Okay, that's, 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 that's good. Okay, not good, but interesting. Okay, this dude started talking. I don't this know. This is all your fault. Ah! I regret every second with you. Time is running out, Rebecca. Okay. All right. Things are different. Fuck. So this is definitely. Uh, no, I don't need this. I just. Uh... Wow, Rebecca. I hate playing as you, Rebecca. Your life sucks. Sorry to be the one to tell you, but your life absolutely sucks, sweetheart. All right. All right. So now we're going to go over here. We're going to get the the reagents. Uh, okay. Go ahead and cut this guy's neck. Uh, artery forceps. We've got the... Gotta get the tubing here. 
and once you play the first round the first shift everything becomes pretty pretty easy so that part of it is less much less complicated and then we can kind of continue exploring and being all sorts of naughty and getting all possessed and shit you know? but, I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these lighting strips and uh the first sign that's the D I'm missing something no you're not missing shit I'm missing something all right you're missing uh, turning this off I'm missing something what are you talking about sweetheart I'll just At play this tape moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you Waiting I'm missing you I'm missing something until you are unable to resist identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known. I'm allowing missing you something. the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. All right, we're going to get the reservoir the bag. Way I've found to tell how far ah, possession ah. is on your own. Stop the bullshit. You scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. Okay, so I feel like I'm still, I'm in a different dimension right now because I'm not able to interact with this. I'm missing something. You see, it keeps telling me that. Unless there's a step, oh wait, that was, I never pulled that body out? Yeah, we've got, we've got. I already have one of those. Exactly. There we go. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and get dirty with it here in, in the belly. We got to get the other marking. But we got to make sure we note down that marking on that clay tablet that we've got in the uh, old cabinetry. There's also a really mysterious um, safe in, in, in one of the cabinets here that has a code that, that you can get. That we haven't discovered which might actually lead to something else which is also very intriguing in my opinion there we go yes there we absolutely go and i'll show you guys that right now why can i maybe i gotta get the other tape maybe i gotta play the last tape we'll see it must be bound to here look body you see this the three objects in this cabinet are your tools first the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. That's what it is. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the. Bro, walking down that hallway Add freaks me the, the fuck out. Mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct bottle with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. The fuck was that? You will need to uncover their sigils. Oh. The oh god. Where is it? Turn off my light so I can see. To create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the signals. Build the mark in place of the blood. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. Where is the sigil? I had to turn off my light so I can see. I can't find the sigil. I spent 15 minutes with my lights off and I can't find it. It is nowhere here. Um, I know they're supposed to get harder to find, 
But what we're going to do is we're just going to keep going. Okay. The first one that we noticed uh, was this one, which is the D. So we'll kind of rule it out at the end if we're just missing one. I'm missing something. I'm, mi I'm missing something. Wait, why can I interact with that? Something's going on here, dude. All right. This is not good because I can't grab the tablet. I'm missing something. I have a feeling it might be this body. I have a feeling. But. It could also be the next one. All right, we're going to leave that body there. Grab the gurney again. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm gonna bring in the next subject to testing. Thorough analysis. Here we go. Yeah, I'm actually kind of bummed that I can't find the sigil. And I'm also bummed that I can't grab that freaking clay. So, Logan Morgan. That's a pretty funny name. Kind of nice. All right, here we go. Let's start investigating, shall we? Left part of the body seems to be A-OK, -okay, except here in the hand. I'm gonna back off of that. Check the torso. He's got a mole on his uh, left uh, jawline. Some blemishes and spots or whatnot on his back. Let's rotate the right hand. The right foot has got something. And let's rotate. I think we got this already. Yes. I'm going to go to the head now. Uh, rotate. There's the moment. There we go. Perfect. Now, this is the body that came out by itself. So, this is kind of interesting. I'm missing. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Why can't I grab this crap? Am I missing the old key? Every time I interact with that, I can't even go to my inventory, which is so weird to me. I think I'm meant to die in this round. missing something every time i interact with that thing that's it i can't interact with anything else that is so that's got to be bugged it's got to be bugged oh what the fuck oh my god goodness gracious you slut Bro, she is freaking freaky. You see this? Bro, can I just go home? I don't understand. This is I don't I don't know. Now I can't I, I can't put the embalming report there. I'm missing something. This is so weird. Do I need to play another tape, maybe? Uh... You should have fucking died. I will slip your magic. And your last vision as they wither will be as the flesh. Solid. Solid threat. And all that will be left is eternal pain and darkness. You will beg me to take your pathetic carcass. Let's see if you notice anything strange and starting to take hold. Jesus Christ. Now, aren't I supposed to get... Oh, hold on. Bro. Oh, no, those are the extra keys. Full access now. Put the tube in there. I'm missing something. PVC tubing. Oh, no. Already four steps. PVC tubing. Now. Engage the pump. And let the body drain. We got full access. Um, I wonder if there's anything else here that we haven't seen. See, this is the one that it's got that sign. So we've got a couple of these. Something. 
All right. Uh, we're done here. Turn off the pump. And remove the PVC pipes. Take off the pipes. Seal up the wound. And uh, what, what's next? Fill an empty IV reservoir bag. We'll do that again. Fill that up here. Get the bag. The, um, and now we got to go into the stomach. That's right. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I don't... I, Can't use that here. Holy smokes, dude. Holy smokes, dude. Okay, I'm looking for the sign again. Just one last time here. Make sure I don't see any symbols. Oh my goodness gracious. That was terrifying. God, that fucking hand from the oh my god. <sighs> yeah, so every shift is definitely different, which means uh, it's gonna get really bad for us. Yeah, this is gonna get really bad. This is not this is not good. It's not good. As soon as I saw that blood drip into this guy's stomach, I was like, yeah, we're going to die here, but that's okay. Makes a cleaner in the bathroom closet to create the tank cleaner. We got to go back over there. I feel like everything's going perfect, except the fact that I can't use the freaking clay tablet. Doesn't let me interact with it, but this is shift two. It might be something different. Should also probably pull out this little strip here. God, fuck me. Okay. All right. Uh, got the second symbol. Now the question is, where is the second? Oh, here's the second symbol. All right. So we've got that. Uh, it's like a J. Okay. It's like a J. Now we can't burn the body unless we put the clay on top of the body. I'm missing something. I So we've got this one here. Let's see what we have. It was this one and this one. We got these two symbols already. See, now I can't interact with the pump. God, how frustrating is that, guys? This is super frustrating. Um, apply the moisturizer to the skin. Okay. Let that drain off for a bit. All right. 
All right, off you go, pal. Any different markings or anything? I don't think this is the body. Hey, calm the fuck down. All right, I'm going in there. I'm going in there. Oh my God. It was one of those bodies. I'm telling you the possessed body is this one. 100%. 100%. All right, we've got another one. This body up for a thorough analysis. I'm gonna wait to see if I find out the uh, the last uh, sigil. Not that it's gonna make a difference, considering that we cannot do anything. All right, let's start at the head with this guy. At this, yeah, I don't know why I don't start at the head, considering it's like the first place, right when we set him up. But you live and you learn, boys and girls. You live and you learn. All right, this guy's got something there. I can just follow my arm. Am I going fucking crazy right now? What's going on here? All right, the leg seems to be okay. Ooh, this one's got a marking too, huh? There we go. This one's got a marking too. That is also very different. Very different. I'm missing something. Fuck, we're not missing shit. Just grab the damn tablet. We need it. We're gonna die here if we don't grab it. Damn. Look, now I can't. I gotta go into the computer in order to pull up my inventory. You see? I don't know. Yo, did I just throw that base there? That's hilarious. Okay, make an incision. All right, we got to go and shirt, uh, shut the jaw again. Here we go. We'll grab the essentials. I'm not going to use this paper just yet because I feel like we're going to be okay for the next couple of minutes. Next couple of steps. Get the artery uh, forceps and get the scalpel. All right. telling you is that fucking body the first body we examined is the one that's that we have to burn he's going crazy in there what is your problem asshole look at him look at him go trying to treat you guys i'm helping you and you're oh. here torturing me the bleaching agent i don't think we've used the bleaching agent one one time this whole entire game not one time which leads me to believe that there is going to be something else eventually down the line oh, that's that's fucking cute Forceps, and we need the tube. Oh God! Um, okay, so now that we're here, I'm trying to see where. I can't use that here. I don't know, where the fuck do we use it? Man, I think it's that. Bro, hey, this game is fucked, bro. I'm, I'm sorry. 
This game just gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Come here, Satan. I'm going to destroy you with God's will. Yeah, that's right. With God on my side, you can't do anything. It's on my corner right now. Oh, shit. I will say I'm still scared. And I'm still kind of bummed that I could never find that first sigil. Second sigil, I'm sorry. All right, what do we have here? Fill the... All right, reservoir bag. Um, it's time to do the stomach now. Oh God, please, no more blood dripping from the ceiling, for the love of God. Oh my God. I'm telling you right now that this is, uh, this is not the body. I think it's, again, the first body. If, if I had had the ability to grab the, uh, the, the, the tablet, the circular clay tablet, I would have already burned the body just because I feel like that's the one. But I'm just gonna, I'm waiting on one more clue just, just to make sure. There we go. All right, mix the cleaners in the bathroom. Here we go. Oh, not this shit again. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Hello? Oh, oh, fuck. Hello? Get the tubing by the bed. Okay. Needle from the bathroom. Oh, bro. She's going to inject herself. Her dark past. This is what I was hoping for. That we would eventually get to see more of, of this character's life before this profession, right? Find the lighter. Get the spoon from the coffee table. Yeah, bro. Massive drug addict. Find uh, the full bag of kittens on the counter. On the counter. She's injecting herself, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Yo, can we go home? Let's. What happens if I... Can I go home? That is so... That is so pointless. I can't even go home. Oh, fuck that. Hold on. Where is that sigil? Hold on, guys. Can I use the match out here? No, it's raining. What, what? I can't use that here. What if it's inside? What if it's inside? It was inside. It's a G. I know what what it is. It's that little D with the with the G and. I'm missing. Still something. can't use that crap, man. How irritating is that? So we've got this one. It's none of these. It's this one, this one, and so it's either the Carvus. It's either Carvus.
Or. Or. Wow. Or Balme. Wow, bro. Are you kidding me? See, these sigils are easy to find. The, this one, I don't see it anywhere here. Bro, I'm going crazy. Could it be in the closet here, maybe? Well, I can't grab the clay anyways. I can't grab the clay anyways. Oh my god, this is terrifying, dude. And for the love of god. She's freaking Did you see, did you see the way she crawled at me like like that girl from the the what was that movie, The Grunge or The Ring or whatever? Oh my god. Fuck. I can't use that. that man. All right. Nah, bro. <laughs> Shit! I can't use No, you can't ever use anything. You're you're useless. What do you want from me, asshole? Bro, there's the body. I I'm I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. Right fucking now. That's the bitch I gotta burn! All right, I'm going through this side because apparently I can't do anything. Oh God! Oh God! All right, let's stop. It's so cold out here. I'd love to come in. Let me in. Please stop. Whatever you're trying to do right now, you need to calm down. I have a clipboard. <laughs> something you're always missing something Rebecca so I restarted and although I still cannot get the tablet that mark tablet or whatnot um I was able to at least uh bring bring this body here so that is better than nothing I guess beggars can be choosers so I'm gonna put the body back I can't I, I really hope I'm not missing. Well, actually, I'd rather be missing something that I can't see, and and not be able to put the clay on these guys than than actually it being a glitch in the game. But I think it's this body. I I really do think it's this body. It doesn't have the clay. I can't grab the clay. It doesn't let me grab it. But let's see what happens when we burn the body without the... Something's got to happen if you burn it without the clay. Without the mark. Let me... Can I hide this body? Oh, fuck. Good morning. It's 
nice not to be the one down there for a change. Uh, Raymond? I suppose a first name basis is in order. D did I make it? Is it over? For now. It's never really over. You've come a long way. It's a lot to learn. I'm so glad I'm here. I know it's disorienting. You'll get used to it. You should head home and get some rest. Every night can be different. I think I'm fine. Are you sure? You seem out of it. Oh, I've just been waiting for so, so long. What? What are you- Possessed. Oh no, you didn't use the mark. Rebecca. Rebecca's not here, you fucking <laughs> idiot. Watch your foolish boy and drink it as it nuts from your pitiful frame. Let me in. All right, so I guess it all worked out not being able to use the clay. I don't know if the game did that on purpose because we needed to get a different ending. Um, or what? But it's interesting because there is more to the story. The story keeps giving you more about Rebecca's past, which is really interesting. I, I think I'm going to do another one. Um, whether I'll post it or not, I don't know. It just depends on how this video does, but eventually, um, we'll see how that goes but um we've been possessed one time we've banished one demon and uh we've burned two bodies i really hope that that wasn't a glitch that i couldn't use the tablet on top of that body because i knew it was between one of the other two names but i just couldn't get the tablet i don't know why it was kind of weird um but i did see i did notice a lot of glitches in this playthrough uh which is kind of strange and they're still doing updates because i'm playing this game before the game is released like just like the shutting of the eyes was a little bit different now than on the first part but uh guys if you'd like to see more just drop the video like listen it's really interesting where this is going i know it's it's a bit repetitive as far as like doing the same thing over and over but as you're doing these things different things happen at the end of the day there's not much that you can diversify with doing one job you got to do the same thing over and over and over that's your job so I get it, but um, I think I'm gonna play it one more time. I got I gotta see what's going on. But uh, thanks again. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below, and uh, hopefully I will I will catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>